Hello, and welcome back to Diggs Inn with the Diggs family. I'm here with my favorite assistant, Michael J. Fox. Just kidding, my wife Lacey, but Michael J. Fox is a close second. I'm gonna ignore that one, and we're gonna get started. So today we decided to sweeten things up a bit, and we are going to make some oatmeal cookies. It is a secret family recipe. Not sure whose family, because I found it on Pinterest, but we're gonna get started. All right, so let's go ahead and run through our ingredients real quick. Oh yeah, and a half cup of raisins. A half cup of chocolate chips. All right, and before we get started, we're gonna put on uh, some aprons. Gotta protect that NBC Youth merch. Alrighty. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and mix the wet ingredients together. So we're gonna mix the butter and the sugar and later on the eggs and the vanilla. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the butter. Sure. All right, so we're gonna grab everything that is not chocolate chips. So let me get a whisk. Alright guys, we got a couple announcements for you. The first of which is that the big summer blowout is going to be June 13th at 12 o'clock and runs till 3. Um, it's just a fun pool party, a good hangout. We're going to be uh, just honoring our seniors and uh, also welcoming the 7th graders that are going to be coming in. So if you are going to be able to make that, go ahead and shoot Mr. Justin an email and let him know your shirt size. Um, yeah, because we'll be getting some t-shirts. Yeah, and it'll be at the Fontenoy's house. Yes. We have some sad news. LFR has decided to go ahead and cancel camp for the summer. Um, I know that this is really disappointing, but we'll keep you posted on other alternatives um, and just what we decide to do as a youth group. Alright guys, we're going to talk about our lesson for the week. Since quarantine has started, we've kind of gone over Jesus' life, death, resurrection, and ascension into heaven. For this week, we have two main questions for you. The first of which is, what does the Bible say Jesus is doing now and in the future? And the second one is, how do you picture Christ? Is he on the cross or is he in heaven? Um, we're going to be going over these in our weekly Zoom meeting, so hopefully you can make it to that. 
and um, hopefully we come away with a more clear understanding of these questions and uh, we can see how a better knowledge of this changes the way we view Jesus. So um, yeah, so Mr. Justin's sending your parents an email, so you can go and check that and there should be a study guide for you there. And we hope to see you Thursday. Thursday. Great. Bye. Bye.